hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we will talk about html2 pdf js library and i will actually show you a demo right here uh, the web application that we will be building in this tutorial so this actually takes the screenshot of your html and convert that into pdf so i have made this application using tailwind css and if you can see on your screen we have this div section and we will try to actually export this html to pdf using this html to pdf js library it's a simple example in the browser which is running vanilla javascript we have a button out there if i click this button it will all this html which is there in this plus the image the text everything will be converted to pdf if i click the button you will actually see it will take the screenshot and now if i show you all the content has been converted to pdf document plus the image as well you will see that so we are actually having a local image which is present in this we are loading this image inside our html so we are actually using html to pdf library for this example this is actually a open source javascript library which actually allows you to convert client side html to pdf it renders using pure javascript and we will be using the cdn for this to actually load this library so that we can use it in the browser so let's start building this application so just make first of all a simple index.html file and here we will simply be saying javascript html to pdf js so library example and then we just need to actually include the cdn for this so that we can use this library so this is actually the cdn link for the script tag so you can just go to their official documentation and just copy the script tag and paste it after the title so after you do this we also need tailwind css because we are using tailwind css for making the ui of the application it is not necessary for this tutorial but we are just using tailwind css to just make the application look good so here you will be using some tailwind classes to actually change the background color bg gray so this is actually tailwind class and then we'll be using the container class mx auto to actually make it in the center position padding will be 8 and here we'll be giving a h1 tag right here so you'll be having the text 3xl so it will be larger the font will be bold so these are all tailwind css classes so text will be appearing in the center positions text center margin bottom 6 we will have a simple heading here which will be html to pdf tool so if i just show you this application in the browser it looks something like this we have a simple heading in the center position so after this heading we will have a section we will be having a we can give an id to it of capture section so we have a simple div tag we have given an id to it of capture capture section so we'll be giving some class as well background will be white padding will be eight it will be rounded on large devices lg and it also will be having shadow so here inside this so we will have a h2 tag so we will have some basic text which needs to be converted to pdf document so this section will be captured as a pdf so you will actually see this is actually the section right here so we will basically be assigning the classes here text sl font semi bold mb4 so you can have a paragraph as well after this heading you can have as many html elements you can have an anchor element as well so all this html will be converted to pdf and after this we will also be having an image so right here we can even load an image tag so image is present in the same directory image jpg 
so you can see we have we can load this image and then we can have a simple button so right here this div is ending right here so after this we can actually have a button which will trigger the process so we'll be having this button inside this div element which will have a class of so inside this we'll have a button here which will simply say generate pdf we'll be giving an id to it of uh, generate pdf button we'll be giving a classes to it bg blue it will have a background color of blue text color will be white text white padding x4 padding y2 and it will be rounded so if you see now we will have a generate pdf button so as i click this button we need to call the html to pdf library so you will be first of all targeting this button we have given this id to this button of generate pdf btn you will bind a on click listener to this button so when we click this button this callback function will execute and inside this function we will basically select whichever section that we want to convert to pdf so we have given that section an id so capture section we will be making a variable right here and here we will be using document dot get element by id and we have given that section that id if you see we have given this id capture section so we are targeting it right here so after we get that element we can simply use our html to pdf this is actually the library we are calling this library this is actually a function and it actually takes the from function and here you need to pass uh, the section that we want to take the screenshot so capture section and then it uses the set function and here it actually passes some object so this object will contain three properties first is the margin of the pdf document let me set it to one and then the file name you can set this file name to anything let me set it to result.pdf and then it contains the third property which is html to canvas and this needs to be set a scale property scale basically means that you are taking a screenshot if you want to scale it all the elements you will provide this property the fourth one will be jspdf and this property will take a object and it will contain additional information about the pdf document such as the units which will be in inches the format of the pdf document which will be a letter size orientation either it can be portrait or landscape these two values are there so we will be providing the portrait orientation so these three options is contains inside jspdf and lastly we will be invoking the save method which will actually take the screenshot and save it as a pdf document so this is actually the library it basically uh, receives this section that needs to capture and then it converts it into pdf document so if i just refresh and click on this button you will actually see it will take the snapshot uh, i think let me see let me remove first of all this image i think it is we need to resize this image so let me only have the text right here so we, we only have the text for now if i click generate pdf you will see all this html the paragraph the heading has been converted so you can have as many paragraph as many headings as you want let me just copy paste it several times just to illustrate this process so now you can see we have lot of html there so if i click this now we will actually see everything will be captured 
so now if you want to load the image as well you can just give it a source here which is image jpg you can give it a fixed width of 200 and a height of 200 So if you see now, if I refresh it, you'll see this image, if I generate PDF, you will actually see the image will also get converted alongside with the text. So you can actually take the screenshot of the HTML, which may contain images, text, everything it will be converted to PDF document using this open source library of HTML to PDF JS library. It's a open source client side HTML to PDF rendering library. So I just showing you a very simple example in this video. So if you need the full source code, the link is given in the description. You can go and uh, get the source code. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe the channel as well. And I will be seeing you in the next video.